We're going to pull up a big one. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing with Coach Brown. Coach Brown. Hello, welcome back to Fishing with Coach Brown. This channel is for the absolute beginner. Today we're going to restring this reel. We're going to take the old line out and put some new line in, and I'm going to show you how I do it. It's a good idea to restring your reels every spring just to make sure you have the strongest start for the fishing season. Throughout the fishing season, our line gets stretched, it gets dry rotted, it gets abrasions on it, it gets a little sun drenched. So I like to have the best start possible for the season with fresh line in all my reels. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get this old line out of here. Just take your face off, the reel's face, press the button, and just start pulling it all out. Get it all out of there. Just like this. Then once we get all the way down to the bottom, we'll cut the line out, but we won't use our fillet knife. Looks like we're there. Get you a knife, get in there, cut that line out so we can put the new stuff in. You want to dispose of your old string properly, don't just throw it in your neighbor's yard. We're going to put 14 pound test trialing in this reel. This reel is actually made for 10 pound test, so I'm pushing the limits just a little bit. But I know I'm going catfishing soon for flathead, and I want as strong as line as I can get. Now, if I tried to put 20 pound test in here, it probably wouldn't cast out very well at all. If you're wondering about what pound test you should use, you can always look at the bottom of your reel. It will tell you right here. I've got my new line. I'm going to string this through each eyelet, starting with the tip. Almost there. Hang with me. We put our line through each eyelet, and now we're going to put the line through our cap. Facing this direction. So when we put it on, it'll go on correctly. Now it's time to tie our line onto the reel. You want to leave yourself plenty of slack. You want to get your line in your spool like this. Your button should be clicked, so this is sticking out as far as you can get it. First thing you want to do is make a little knot right here on the end of your line, like that. And then for this part, you want to make a knot like this, and then another knot like that, and then this will slide down in that first knot you made will stop everything else from coming through. Now hold it tight. Cut that tag end off. There we go. Put my cap back on. Now we're ready to reel it in. There are several different ways you can do this part, and you can do it however you want to. I don't have anybody here to help me today, so I'm just going to set this right on the ground. I'm just going to put a very light pressure on my line, very light, and I'm going to start reeling this in. Nice and smooth, and this is spooling right off the spool. See that? Nice and smooth. Now after a little while, you're going to have to see how much line is inside of your reel. So I'm going to stop, take the face off, check it. Looks like I'm about half full. And you want your line to be about an eighth of an inch from the top here. So we're going to keep going. Light pressure on the line. Check it. Perfect. We're about an eighth of an inch from the top. We got a nice spool of new line. The other ways I was talking about spooling your line on was you can have a friend with you. I don't have any friends here with me today. I do have friends though, is they can hold this with a pencil and just put light pressure on it and they can reel it in just like that. Or a stick from the yard, you can use that. You can use a screwdriver, just put a little light pressure. You can even do it yourself if you want to do it like this. You put the stick right here, put your light pressure with your jeans 
and reel it in like that if you need a little more tension. Well, that's all there is to it. We've got new line in our reel, ready to go catfishing with 14 pound test. I recommend restringing all of your reels every spring so you can feel good about the fishing season. Thanks for watching Fishing with Coach Brown, and we'll talk to you soon.